What's up guys, welcome to your 22nd Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to nest if statements. So uh, the first thing we're going to need is some variables and to build a basic if statement. So let's go ahead and make um, thing equals animal and uh, let's go ahead and make uh, animal equals cat. There, good. Now, once we get two variables, doesn't really matter what, we can go ahead and make our if statements. So, let's go ahead and put if um, thing is, remember, when you're uh, making if statements, you use two equal sign, I mean, test conditions. If thing equals animal, colon, um, and then we're going to have a block of code right there. And let's just make an else statement real quick. Else, um, print let's think of something print real quick I don't know what this thing is so we're gonna have if thing equals animal do a certain block of code else do print out I don't know what this thing is now inside this if statement we could have a certain block of code like a print statement or something like that or we can have a whole nother if statement and that's what I'm gonna teach you guys how to do today so inside this if statement in the first line of code you put if and have another test condition right there so if thing equals animal which it does and if animal is equal to cat which it is we want you to print out this is probably need a print statement right there print this is a cat or there we go not a car a cat there and now we can have an else statement in here also else um print like I don't know what this animal I don't know what this animal is so let's go ahead and run this right now and make sure I didn't mess up anything press F5 save it it says this is a cat in where's my code right there so what it did is thing equals animal and animal equals cat the first thing it did is test this if right here if this wasn't an animal it would go right down here so let's just change that thing equals um, house let me show you guys what would happen I don't know what this thing is if this even though that this is a cat this code never gets ran if this main outside if condition is false so again that is um, the basics of how you can put one decision which is this in a bigger decision which is this so to reiterate one more time you have one main test condition right here the first thing it checks for if it's an animal if and only if it is an animal is it going to test or excuse me test if it's a cat or not if it's not an animal this code right here that's highlighted this never gets ran so um, and then the default would just go straight to here so again that is how you embed an if statement in a larger if statement um, and again or not again I didn't tell you this yet but you can even put an if statement in here and in another one and another one and you can put as many if statements in if statements as you want but any more than this kind of gets confusing even though we're probably gonna have to do it sometime during these tutorials but for now, we're going to just stick with a decision. And if that decision is true, then you give it another decision to make. So that's your basics of an if statement and an if statement. So uh, thank you guys for watching. In the next tutorial, I'm probably going to be talking about something else about conditions. I'm, uh, I guarantee it's going to be terribly exciting. So stick around. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.